Hey everyone. Now, first of all, this video might be a bit reverby, but uh, I can't do much about that at the moment. Anyway, someone told me the other day that Ubiquity Systems have just announced a feature in their early code that announces the AP's name in the, in the Beacon broadcast. So normal systems that I've seen for years, like Aruba and Ruckus and Cisco and all them, that's been nothing special. In the Beacons, they have an information element, which is the AP's name that you can turn on or off if you want to broadcast that. But Ubiquity has only just released that. So I got hold of a packet capture to see it for myself. And I'll show you what I saw and what I didn't see. Okay, to start with, I've got an example from a mist network, which was taken from Bunnings. So it's got this B team here. Anyway, what I've got here, somewhere in there, it has the AP name. Now I can dig through all of that, but just as a tip, if you want to find something, all of that is represented over here, first in uh, hex, but also in ASCII. And if I scroll down the bottom, you can see something that looks like a value here that's sort of human readable. So if you just click that, it takes you straight to where it is here anyway. So you can see that there. So if I prepare that as a filter, and not necessarily that particular name, but just anything that has that name, it'll be there. So if I had all sorts of other stuff in this packet capture, it would only show ones with a missed name, but that's all I've got in this packet capture, so it was kind of irrelevant. But this shows you what the actual value is. So you can see down the bottom, WLAN VS missed AP name. There's lots of information elements here in a packet capture. So you can see this one's VHT capabilities, VHT operation. But this AP name, just click on it there again, this here is just a vendor specific one. So this tag is a vendor specific tag, number 221. And the OUI is for MIST systems, and their specific one is type 1, saying AP name. So that basically says that a vendor-specific tag of this OUI, type 1, is a, is a MIST AP name. And Wireshark have that included as this variable down here. So I'll show you a different one. Okay, now I've got a Cisco example, which was taken from Woolies. So same sort of thing. I'm just going to click over here. They've got the AP name, and there it is. So in this particular instance, they've got a specific thing here, Cisco CCX1, they've got a special own tag quality there. So that's how they've implemented that. And you can see the name, at the end of the day, it comes down to the value here, WLAN Cisco CCX1 name. So that's how Cisco do it, and that's how it's integrated in Wireshark for Cisco. Okay, now here I've got a Ruckus AP example. And again, you can see it down here, so I'm just going to click that. And the way it's represented here, similar to the first one, it's a vendor specific tag and it's a ruckus OUI. And for them, it's type three means AP name. But of course, it's got the value down the bottom here. So now I'm gonna show you what happens when I pull up a Ubiquity one. So here's one from the brand new Ubiquity system. And if I go to its name, which is this demo name down here, you can see there's nothing special about this being an AP name. There's no value that I can just see down the bottom here. But the format is still like the others. It's a vendor specific tag and the OUI is for Ubiquity and the type for them is one, which would mean AP name. So what we've got to do is get Wireshark to interpret this as a Ubiquity AP name. So I'll show you a side by side with a missed one and a Ubiquity one. So the missed one, you can see it's just a vendor specific tag. So vendor specific is 221. And that's the same over here. It's a vendor specific tag, 221. This OUI obviously is MIST. This OUI is Ubiquity. This one is type one of MIST's uh, vendor specific tag, which means AP name. And Wireshark knows about this one. But on Ubiquity, it's got the Ubiquity OUI and that, that OUI type, but it doesn't know how to interpret that, even though we know that's the AP name, which you can see over here, just demo name. So I'm going to see if I can get the Wireshark guys to put that in. I'll send them this packet capture and see if we can get that implemented. Now because Wireshark's open source, you can see the source code when you download it. So you can see in the dissectors, you've got the IEEE 802.11 um, file here. And this is where they got, you know, they got the Cisco name here, they got the MIST name there. That's where those things came from. But there's nothing here for Ubiquity. Well, there's other things, but not the one we want. So that's probably the file they're going to modify when I send them the packet capture and ask them really nicely to do that. So here's their project. If I go to plan and issues, I will open an issue and send them what I need to and see what happens with it. So I'll do that now. I'll log in and, and send that up to them and see what happens. Okay, I've just created the issue there and you can see what I've, I've said. I've just kept it brief, add ubiquity AP name tag and I've given an example of the packet capture, pointed out the bit in question 
and gave them the examples of some of the other vendors and what they use and sort of suggested to follow that same kind of pattern to use that. So I've submitted that and I'll see what happens with it. Okay, so I raised that issue before I went to bed last night and I've got up now and checked it and it's being closed. And what they said is they've already addressed this and they've done it in the new version of Wireshark, but it was added after the release 4.6 was created, therefore it can't be seen in the current stable version. So you can do the development version. So what I did is download the source code and compiled it. So here it is compiling, doing the dissectors bit. So at the end of all that, I've got a new version here. I'll just show you the version. So the version is 4.7.0, but it's the latest from the source code. And what I can see down here is the AP name. And it comes up as wlan.vs.ubiquity.ap underscore name. So now I can do that. And what that means is I could apply that as a column and see the AP name. That's someone else's AP name that I had there before. That was the missed one. And this is the Ubiquity one. So that's how I can easily see it. So it's been implemented. And that's that. Okay, so that's what I love about open source. And Wireshark is one of my all-time favorite programs, that and VLC. So I, I said, there's the issue. Showed them the clear definition of what the problem was. They had already addressed it, as they said, in, what, four hours or something? They got back to me, I was asleep. But, you know, they said, we've already addressed it. It's done. Try the new code. I got the code, compiled it. It works. Life goes on. Just like that. Really quick. And uh, yeah, it's just great. So that's why I love open source. But anyway, now the Ubiquity APs can transmit their AP name in the beacons, like most others. So that's what I wanted to show you. And that'll do for now. Till next time, take it easy.